Everyone in the world has mental illness. Everyone in the world has mental illness. Yes, you're looking at that and you're like, what the fuck did I just watch? Well, guess what? As you can see, that motherfucker was depressed. Looking out into the mountains. There's nothing wrong with going out in the mountains and looking out and being like, wow, this is a beautiful sight. But what I'm trying to say is everyone in the world has a mental illness. You're like, what the fuck are you talking about, man? Ooh, I sound like I drink beer every day. Well, that's one mental illness. Let me tell you another one right now. Psych, let me tell you my fucking intro. Criminal Juice for the Blind. That's why I'm saying it out loud. Criminal Juice for the Blind. For the deaf, that's why I'm giving you sign language. You can see my beautiful shiny lips saying it as well. And for those that actually have eyeballs that work, it does including glasses, bifocals, or monocles. You got the librarians. You're going to get to my crotch area. Go through my pubic hair forest. Keep searching, keep searching. There you'll find my name on my desktop right there on the bottom. Can you read that? No, it's okay. It's pretty simple. I can tell you how to read. All you got to do is ask. Uh, you see, that was a mental illness right there. I just totally fucked up on my intro. But guess what? Who gives a shit? Anyways, listen, everyone in the world has mental illness. Everyone does. I don't have it because I'm special and mental illness. I like to tell people that they have it, but I don't like to admit that I have it. Of course you don't because you're full of crap. You have a big ego and you don't understand what I mean. Usually if you tell someone they're mentally ill or they have mental illness, they get extremely, um, they get kind of offended and ang angry. But when I tell you that you have mental illness, I know you're at first, you're like, what the fuck are you talking about, buddy? You got mental illness. I'm like, I'm not trying to tell you you have a mental illness in a bad way. I'm, t I'm just telling you in a psychological way, everybody does. Let me talk about mine. <laughs> Anyways, my mental illness is literally, I would have to call it darkness. I could call it depression. I could call it whatever I want, but I would have to say mine specifically I call it the darkness. Basically, I've been figured this out a long time ago that I have some weird darkness inside of me. That's what it feels like. It feels like there's something in there that cannot be healed. But I understand that it cannot be healed. Do you understand? I understand. But I do understand as well as there's a lot of things that I can do to make that darkness feel better on the inside i did it through meditation and going for walks and being able to uh, work out you see that in the background when i go rah, rah. yes being able to work out and being able to uh do shit like that is what makes me feel better make music or just being creative in general even me doing this talk to you right now makes me feel a lot better do you understand so i understand that i wish i can literally whatever's inside and maybe there is a, a fucking uh miracle thing and it ain't a drug maybe there is a miracle thing maybe i just need to meditate who knows what it is i i don't think so i don't believe it a lot of people think in the in this world they're like oh you can you can definitely get rid of it 100 percent. no 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 what you do is let's say i meditate every single day right i notice that i start feeling better and better i notice that i feel more positive uh when i work out do all this stuff Basically, the the darkness is there, but it's just hidden away like that. It's like sleeping a little bit. Like, Ew, I think Chris is really cute. Wow, he's such a cute guy. I don't know why I call myself Chris. Why am I using that name? That's not my real name. But my name is Criminal, by the way. But anyways, Criminal's so cute. Oh my God, I'm sleeping inside of him because I like my cock to just lay in there. And well, yeah, whatever. The point is, it just sleeps in there. But I noticed that when I stopped meditating, I stopped and I started thinking about bullshit, stuff that doesn't matter. You know, that's when it comes back and it hits me like <clears throat> really hard, extremely hard. It hits me and then it just everything, it fucks everything up. So I know that that's my mental illness, that I have some weird darkness inside and I have like, and it makes me have anxiety and all these things and it never goes away. But it definitely does get better when you have stuff to do, like whether you read a book or you, you know, play guitar, whatever it is you like to do, 
even if it's licking, uh, what is it called? Mail stamps. If you like licking them, like, um, 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 if that turns you on and it makes you happy, then do that. Okay. I don't know why you would do that. Make sure that there's a non-toxic ones because you could possibly die by doing that. I forgot what show that happened where, whatever, there's a show where there's this girl licked so many stamps and she actually died. Ah, it was on Seinfeld. Yes, George Costanza's wife died from linking too many stamps. So make sure yours is not toxic if you if that's one of your weird fucking hobbies that I don't even want to talk about anymore because it's weirding me out. Just talking about it. But anyways, um, so when I say that everyone has a mental illness, your mental illness, here's the difference between mental illness. Everybody looks at mental illness, they're like, oh my god, you have mental illness, I hate you now. Nope. There's a difference between a mental illness that is extremely bad. See, my mental illness, it, it hurts me. You know what I mean? It's not the type of mental illness that if I'm going through whatever I go through, I'm like, let me put it on you and let me make you feel completely terrible. And I'm going to make you feel horrible about it. See, those are the mental illnesses that are really, really bad. But let me go through some of that. Let me, let me talk about that in a second. I just want to talk about the mental illness. You have a mental illness as in if there's something in your head which gives you anxiety or maybe there's something that you do over and over that you hate doing. Whatever it is, that's the mental illness that I'm talking about. It could be anything. It could be opening a door, having to open it three times. That's your mental illness. And technically, it's not even hurting you that much. That's what I mean by mental illness. Everybody has a mental illness. And a lot of them hide it in their heads. Especially uh, depression and stuff like that is the biggest one. When I like, Let's say when I go to work and I see all these motherfuckers, you can tell they're just holding everything inside. But the problem is a lot of them take it out on the other people. That's the problem. That's where I have the big issue. Those are the mental illnesses that I want to talk about right now. Listen, you need to see, seek therapy. You need to do something. Because if, the, if your mental illness is causing others to feel really bad, like if, you, if, you, if you're just like, oh, I'm going to get angry. I'm going to fucking hit someone or I'm going to do this and that. I'm going to scream at them. I'm going to take everything out on them. Then you know that you really do need to seek therapy. You need to do because now, now it's 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 already bad to hurt yourself. You need there, you know. That's one thing to hurt yourself. You know, you're going down the hole. You need therapy for that as well. But if you start taking it out on everybody around you, then that's when it's like, holy fuck, what the hell's going on here? I actually try to get rid of people like that in my life, where they don't do anything for me. They're just there to uh, be a complete fucking asshole towards me. And I'm like, cool, uh, do you do anything else? Are you ever nice, really? I mean, do you? is it just fun for you to be an asshole towards me or what? Because uh, I'm not having a fun time, so I don't think we should hang out anymore. But that's the type of mental illness. So that's what I mean by everyone in the world has a mental illness, whether it is the obsession with uh, materialistic items or maybe you know, you're obsessed with money. That's a mental illness because let's say you're successful Let's say you're successful, quote unquote, successful, right? Let's say you make uh, $5 million, right? But the thing is, you're never happy with that. You're like, I can retire and I'll be fine forever. This is what this is what happens usually. They'll get all this money. Then they're like, well, let me live to a standard of that money. Let me live to a standard that doesn't even make any fucking sense. I'm going to buy five houses. I'm going to get myself a yacht and I'm going to do all this stuff. Now they're spending their money at an extremely high amount to the point where all they do is chase more and more and more and more money. If your life is all about just chasing the dollar, by the time you're 70 years old, you're just going to look at yourself and you're going to be like, what in the fuck did I do in my life? All I did was chase more and more and more and more money just so I can have two yachts and I'm still unhappy. So the happiness just, it's just comes within you. You have to be just there's mental illness in many ways. It's just an it's like an addiction actually, whether it's chasing alcohol, chasing drugs, chasing all this stuff. So everyone in the world has a mental illness, whether they like to admit it or not. And it is a mental illness if it's causing your life to suck or whatever it is, it's causing problems. And it's probably something you don't like to happen. And I'm one of I'm one of the only people out there that actually admit it. That's why when I talk about mental illness, like let's say when I do live streams, people are like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm not mentally ill. I'm like, I'm mentally ill, you fucking asshole. I'm just telling you 
everyone has one, but you don't want to admit it because you're too cocky or you have a big ego out there. So for all the people out there, try to figure it out. Remember, a lot of this stuff can be actually fixed and healed. And there's the people like that, like me, which is most of the people, I'm going to say probably like 85% of the entire world has it, where it's something you can't, it can't go away, but you could definitely, you know, put it to rest. You know what I mean? You can let it go to sleep and just push through it and all that stuff. And if you feel bad, you feel bad. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. Uh, me doing this, this, this vlog right here. You think I don't feel horrible before I turn on? I have all these dumb, fake, fearful thoughts that go through my head before I stream or maybe before I make a video in my head. And today, to be honest with you, I actually just made the video. Today, I didn't think about it too much. Like, oh my God, negative thoughts, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, let me just turn this shit on and just do it. And just do it. That's the best thing possible for you. Whatever thought you have, turn off all the other thoughts like oh i want to uh go for a walk today try to turn off your head after that <laughs> turn it off any thoughts that are like oh don't do it you get lazy da, 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 da. what you have to do is just do it straight up like i'm gonna go for a walk and and you just keep doing the process whether it's fucking uh <laughs> fucking yeah what well, hey whether it's fucking someone before you leave or brushing your teeth whatever you got to do just keep doing that until you actually get yourself outside and go for a walk. Even if you can't handle walking for a long time, go for a five-minute walk. Whatever you got to do, just whatever. Apply that everything you do. And that's why I think, no, that's why I know everyone in the world has a mental illness. It could even be going like this. Just for no reason, out of nowhere in the middle of the day. You look around to see if anybody's noticing because you're dying to do it. And you just go, Obviously, that's just a little mental illness. Obviously, it's not hurting anyone, but that's when you really got to start, like, what the fuck's going on here? Because once it starts hurting other people, then it's like, oh, fuck. Uh, thank you for watching this vlog on, uh, it's, it's about mental illness, but it's more about everyone in the world has mental illness. And they just don't, will never admit it. They just they just won't, and that's okay. And I'm sure there's a lot of you that are going to watch this and go, Oh my God, what are you talking about? Even after watching everything you said, even after all the logical stuff that just came out of your beautiful lips. Uh, out of your beautiful lips, I'm still not going to believe that I have it. It's okay. Maybe one day you'll realize that you do. Maybe every time you take a shit, then you have to put your, your finger inside of your asshole and make sure that it's completely brown or whatever green, whatever shit comes out and you have to look at it and then you have to wash it off. Maybe then you'll be like, well, maybe I do have some sort of mental illness that's going on, but it is what it is. Uh, I don't even know. I don't, I just randomly, by the way, if you guys think when I do these vlogs that I have, all I have is the basis for it, the idea of what is the vlog going to be. But if you honestly think I write this stuff that I don't even know what, I just go with the flow, raw and uncut, no edit, uncut, raw and uncut, no edit, no, I don't do any editing because I don't want any, anything to be messed out on what I have to say. And I like to just freely say what I want to say as well. Okay. All right. Um, I just wanted you to show you this image because this is how mental illness looks like. You're like, what the fuck? Yeah, this is, that's how it looks like. I just wanted to make sure you look at it. It just, it's just, uh, yeah, that doesn't, see how it doesn't make sense? That's what everybody has in their life. Something that they don't think makes sense. Any, but you can make sense of it if you want, you know what I mean? But anyways, thank you for everyone watching my video. And, uh, uh, it's so funny when I make videos, I totally forget at the end to say subscribe, please. Subscribe to my video. I also am I'm on Twitch. I'm on Twitch. Uh, follow me there if you like. I, I live stream sometimes. I'm gonna live stream after this. Actually, I believe. Um, subscribe to my YouTube. Uh, I have a Twitter. Uh, what else do I have? A Discord. If you want to come in and talk as well. Thank you so much. I appreciate whoever keeps supporting me. Thank you for supporting me. I'm gonna keep making these videos. And uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs>